with you guys. It's your girl Destiny. And it's your boy B to the Sis Not Easy. And we are back with another video. <laughs> we are. Do it again. All right, we are back with another. D. D. Oh, 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 See, she started to disrespect me. She started to disrespect me. It's getting me hot. Y'all, forgive my attire. I look like a little freaking boy. I just threw on Brandon's shirt because we just got back from the gym. Yeah. But while we was at the gym, we, we, got, got, we got some breaking news. A little piece of important news. So, I, so I'm, I'm gonna respect the people that may have been sleeping in a cave for the last six, seven months. And if you have, I don't know how you missed this, but Derek Chauvin, Chauvin, don't know how to pronounce his name, Chauvin. really don't care. My man got convicted of third. It was set. It was anyway. He got convicted of three counts of manslaughter and murder today in the killing of George Floyd. So. And, so yeah, and the thing about it is, is that, you know, for so long, man, for so long, people have lost confidence in the system and all that. So today was really a step in the right direction. Um, and you know what's crazy? Because me and B, like earlier today. Um, let, me get, let me get, keep on. Okay. Guys, sorry, I sweat real easy. I don't know why. But earlier today, we were talking about the case while they were like deliberating. <laughs> And uh, Brandon was like, so what do you think the outcome is gonna be? And I said, I really don't know that it's gonna happen. I literally just was like, you know what? I don't think it's gonna happen because they, you know, the system is so freaking corrupt. You just it's have no faith in it. You have no faith in the system. So I was so, I just knew it, like honestly, I just knew that he wasn't gonna get convicted. That's how I initially felt. And the thing about it is, the thing about it is, is that you gotta also understand that the jury took two days to deliberate. It was 10 hours over two days. So normally when it takes you two days to deliberate over something, to me that was cut and dry. I mean, everybody saw the video. It was a hung jury. It was a, it, to me, it, it, it didn't look good. So. I was crossing, we were crossing our fingers, dotting our eyes. We kept following up with it. And when they said guilty, man, uh, shout out to the shade room though. The shade room the was- The shade room be on Bro, it, the bro. shade room had a representative. They went live and they had a representative there at the trial. And I kid you not, as soon as the verdict was released, they posted it. Like the shade room, they be on it. They be quick to post up. So shout out to them. Yeah, but bro. yeah, so- Like we were watching them over the, like, the shade room has low key been <laughs> the news. The shade room is yeah. better than the news, honestly. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to the shade room. Like we are not even biased, not just because they posted us like four or five times. Right, but right, right, right. They legit be having the breaking news yeah. at the drop of a dime. Yeah. Like before they even fully say it. But I'm just so thankful to God. I'm so freaking happy that this has happened because his, oh my God, and then we watched the clip of his family finding out the news and yeah. freaking almost put me in tears. And the thing is, and, and, I, and I hope, I really sincerely hope that this is, because here, let, let, I mean, let's be real. Co not all cops, but certain cops have seen the situations with the Breonna Taylors and the Jacob Blakes and everybody else that's um, uh, Ahmad, um, I, Ahmaud Aubrey and, and, and uh, uh, Bakum John. They've seen these and it's given them certain officers, I'm not going to say all, but certain officers confidence that they can find new creative ways to kill our people and get away with it. And so no telling what this would have, ha no telling what would have happened if this dude would have been found not guilty. I mean, it would have been it probably would have been Rodney King all over again, riots, everything. So the fact that he was found guilty is to us a wake up call. And I hope it's a wake up call to other people to be like, okay, now the accountability is going to start kicking in. Now it's baby steps um, that we're taking to make sure that people are not getting away with this stuff. Yeah. So I hope this is a wake up call to, to for people to understand that like, you know, that you didn't, you're not going to get away with this anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Period. 
And if, and if you try to get away with it, it, this is what's gonna happen. Now, here's the thing about it. We're not out of the woods yes, because, yet because the judge still has to sentence him. Yeah. But. And that's also the part where it's still unfair. Right. Because it's like, you know, a normal person, a black person off the street, if we were to do something like that, it's automatically life for 20 to 40 to 60 years. Yeah. But when it's a police officer, it's like, you know, they get... They just get away with everything. Yeah. But, you know, and this is not a bash session for police officers because I have, I personally have police officers that are friends that are great people. Like, I um, used to work at a hospital and we used to get police officers in and out all the time. And then you really sweating. I know. Because I just got out the, I just got out the shower, guys. Yeah, so, leave. when I take a hot shower. Oh, you. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, so I have respect for police officers that are not out here unjustly killing and being racist and using yeah. their badges for, you know, just to get over, just a plain old get over. But, you know, so it's not a bash session for all police officers, but it's just the system. It's just so corrupt. So yeah. I'm just so relieved that he got convicted. So I feel like with three counts, like he's definitely gonna get some time. I'm gonna say he's gonna at least get 20 years, well, at least. What do you think? Well, honestly, I mean, whatever he gets, it still wouldn't be enough because I mean, you took a man's life. So absolutely, it's yeah. like pretty much. I I feel like if you take a man's life, your life should be over. So I feel like he should get life. However, the system, you know, there's laws and certain things like that that I respect. So I'm hoping with him being found on all three counts. The, the 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 maximum he could get i mean i'm sorry the maximum he can get is 40 years for the murder one i think I, I i gotta look him up but it's three counts so i know one is like 10 years one carries a 15 year and i think one carries a maximum of 40 years he's already i'm, I'm assuming he's already in his 40s so it'll pretty much be over for him but so do you think it should because this is always my um like my i guess where i get a little just inquisitive on how people think. So, do you feel, especially being from Chicago, mm -hmm. where I'm sure you know people that have killed people, mm -hmm. you know you've seen it, yep. you know this is the life you grew up around, murders and all this stuff, like not to throw shade, but I'm just being yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, do you feel like, just because, he's a white person that killed a black person that he should his life should be taken because of that or do you feel like even if it was black on black crime that person should also have their life taken into his life cuz well, i feel like a well, lot cuz i feel like a lot of times like on social media like even i've had friends that have gotten murdered mm -hmm. and you'll see people put free such and such free the murderer that did it no, so so when I say his life should be over, I don't mean his life should be taken. That's no, not, I don't mean that. I mean okay, like life in prison. Right, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like anybody that takes a life, their life should be, life. I mean, if it's not an accident, like if you knowingly or and willingly, or yeah, unless it's self-defense, an accident, whatever the case may be, if you knowingly, willingly take a life, then yeah, that should be it because you had no regard for that person's life. So for me, it's like, why should anybody have any regard for your life? It should be life, life in jail, and no matter who it is. Yeah. My, uh, one of my family members could kill somebody if they knowingly do it, premeditated. Then it should be over for them because you you didn't have any regard for that person's life. And you know, again, certain circumstances. I don't mean that like accidents. Even in a situation where, let's say, somebody killed you. I'm, I'm sorry, not you. One of your family members. And let's say you, in the heat of the moment, you have a, you're trying to get revenge, whatever the case may be. I don't condone that, but I'm not going to judge you off of that. What I will judge you off of is, and this is a lot of stuff that happens out there is, bullets don't have names on them. So you could be, just be walking up, shooting somebody, and all of a sudden, an eight-year-old girl has to die now. Now, now. now a family has to live without their eight-year-old daughter or something. In those situations like that, yeah, I think, I think you should spend life in jail. Because yeah. it's not, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I totally agree. It's just that I get, like, I just see, it just seems like when it's black on black crime, sometimes 
you know you can see on the internet and you know on facebook instagram and all that like free that person and it's like wait yeah. hold on we gotta stand you know we gotta make sure that this is for everybody yeah everybody yeah. not just because it's white on black crime or you know so that's a little bit of the frustration that i get because i know people you know like i said i have friends that have been murdered and you'll see free that person and it's like hold up yeah you know like that's not cool right but right yeah so no no that but at the end of the day man like murder is murder no matter who's doing it i mean it's a, it's a little bit more heightened when police officers are doing it because to me that's a sign of racism versus yeah and then they're like oh it was an accident yeah or oh i went yeah. into the wrong apartment yeah or oh um i was afraid for my life yeah like, or I, or 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 in the new case that's about to actually go to trial uh, i don't know if it's gonna go to trial right away but the lady who used her um gun yeah, she and she thought she, it was her taser yeah she said she acted it was an accident but you've been in the force for over 10 years and you accidentally draw the wrong weapon like you don't know the, the difference between your taser and your gun like or on, the fact that the taser is on a completely opposite side than your gun like and the, and the, the, the um the police chief already said that you're trained to know that your tasers oh your do, your gun is on your dominant hand and your taser's on your like the opposite like hand. the opposite hand so you, you you mean tell me you didn't know none of this after being in the forest for over 10 years i want to say even longer than that and on top of that on top of that check this this is what this wasn't even in the heat of a moment like situation like you literally walked up to the car dude tried to get in his car so you had ample time it's not like he pulled a gun on you and you just had to make a split decision real quick like literally you pulled you had time to pull out and you pulled out a gun talking about you thought it was a taser yeah so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting to see how this trial plays out but the good news is is that again today is a step in the right direction man and yes. it's about accountability yeah. like it's about holding these people accountable whether you whether we think you did it intentionally or not, or whether you think you did it intentionally or not, it's really about holding people accountable. You are not going to get away with this. Yeah. And that's really what, you know, we've been trying to stress. So yeah. anyway, we just wanted to come on and react to it. We happy about it. All of, also, shout out to all my smokers. It's 420. I don't smoke, <laughs> but shout out to my smokers. This is a really good day for you to, you know. Hey, yeah, I know it's about to be it's loud. It's about to be loud, 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 loud. So, anyway. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. And we will see you guys in the next video. We out. Peace. Peace.